Hello and welcome to day four of the Get Ready for Summer Challenge. Today our focus is extension, which will strengthen the back of the body, lengthen the spine, and allow you to walk tall and with more confidence. Let's begin. Sit in a crisscrossed position with your hands on your knees. Inhale and reach your heart forward and up, letting your gaze walk up the wall in front of you without looking all the way at the ceiling. So you're keeping your head right up on top of the spine. Exhale and sink the rib cage to return to start. Inhale and reach the heart forward. You're feeling the spine between the shoulder blades reach forward and up as your gaze goes up the wall in front of you. Exhale and sink the rib cage. Bring your gaze back down the wall. And again, inhale and reach the heart forward and up, feeling the front of the chest open. And exhale, sink the rib cage. And inhale, reach the heart forward and up, breathing into the front of the chest and expanding it to all corners of the room. And exhale, sink the rib cage. Two more times like that. Inhale and reach the heart up. And exhale, sink the rib cage to return to start. And inhale, reach that heart up, feeling that spine between the shoulder blades lengthen and reach forward. And exhale, return to start. We're gonna continue that, we're gonna add a little bit of rotation. I'm gonna start going to the right side. Inhale and reach the heart up, bring the right arm over the head in a circular motion, bring it behind you, and keep reaching the heart up as you look over the right shoulder. Exhale to return to start circling the arm overhead and to the left. Inhale, reach the arm forward as the left arm circles behind you and you look over the left shoulder. Keep reaching the heart up towards the ceiling and exhale, return to start, bringing the hand back to the knee. And inhale to the right, reaching up and bring the hand behind you. And exhale, sinking the rib cage and circling the arm back around to return to start. And inhale, lengthen that spine away as you circle the left arm overhead and look over the left shoulder. And exhale to sink the rib cage and return to start. And one more time to the right. Inhale the heart up, looking over the right shoulder. And exhale, return. And inhale the heart up. Look over the left shoulder and exhale, return. Go come into an all fours position with the hands underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hip. Hips. Bring your forehead to the space but to the mat between the thumbs. The tailbone, the sit bones, will reach up towards the ceiling behind you. Bring your elbows to either side of the head by the ears and the hands behind the head in a prayer position. Reach your sit bones energetically towards the wall behind you while keeping the forehead rooted. Reach the spine between the shoulder blades down and forward towards your nose while the shoulder blades reach into the side of the body. Feel a little bit of work and a lot of stretch and lengthening in the spine, right between the shoulder blades, or right under the bra strap for the ladies. Inhale into the front of the chest, feeling it open and expand. Exhale, lift the navel. Inhale into the front of the chest, feeling it open and expand. Exhale, lift the navel. One more breath, reaching that spine between the shoulder blades forward. Inhale to the front of the chest. And exhale, lift the navel. From here, come down onto your belly, extending the legs behind you. Bring your arms long beside you, palm face up. Bring your forehead to the mat. I'm going to place my cheek on the mat so that you can hear me a little more clearly. Inhale into the back and the side of the rib cage to prepare. Exhale, lift the navel, lift the rib cage, lengthen the spine off of the mat. So you're going to feel like you're at that last exercise, but the head and the heart will lift off the mat. 
Roll the arm bones open towards the back of the body, feeling the front of the chest wide, and lift the arms, reaching the hands towards the feet. The feet stay on the ground while you lengthen out of the crown of the head. Inhale to come back down one vertebra at a time. I'm gonna try that a little quicker. Exhale, lift the navel, lift the rib cage, lengthen the spine off the mat, roll the top of the arm bone open and reach the hands towards the feet. Inhale to come back down. Exhale, lift the navel, lift the rib cage, lengthen the spine off the mat, roll the top of the arm bone open and reach the hands towards the feet. Long out of the crown of the head, inhale back down. And exhale, lift the navel, lift the rib cage, lengthen the spine off of the mat and roll the arm, top of the arm bone open, reaching the hands towards the feet. Feet stay on the earth. Navel is lifted off of the ground as if it is made of lava. Inhale, come back down one bone at a time. Exhale, lift the navel, lift the rib cage, lengthen the spine off the mat and rotate the top of the arm bone open, reaching the hands towards the feet. Inhale, come back down one vertebra at a time. We're gonna add a little something to this. Exhale, lift the navel, lift the rib cage, lengthen the spine off of the mat, rotate the top of the arm bone open, and then from here, inhale the hands out into a T, and then exhale, push the hands down to the hips as if you're pushing through water. And inhale out to the side, and exhale down to the hips. And inhale out to the side, and exhale down to the hips, and then inhale, lay the vertebra down one at a time. Exhale, lift the navel, lift the rib cage, lengthen the spine off the mat, rotate the top of the arm bone open, reach the hands towards the feet. Inhale, the hands out to the side. Picture that you're flying. Exhale, push the hands down to the hips. Inhale, the hands out to the side. Exhale, push the hands down to the hips, lengthening the spine away from the hips and inhale out to the side, and exhale, lengthen the spine as you push the hands to the hips, and inhale, come down one vertebra at a time. From here, we're gonna go into a full swan. The key to swan is not lifting off the mat as high as you can, but lengthening the spine between the vertebra. So it should feel very similar to what we have been doing in these last exercises between the shoulder blade. You're just gonna feel a lot more work in the arms. Bring the hands right in front of the shoulders. They're not underneath the shoulders, they're just in front. Take an inhale, and on your exhale, lift the navel, lift the rib cage, and lengthen the spine off of the mat. Feeling the top of the arm bone roll open, and the shoulder blades sink into the side of the body. Keep the navel lifted as you lengthen away. Legs stay on the ground. At the top of your swan, the chest should be open, the rib cage should be pointed towards the hips, and the navel should be connected to the spine. Inhale, come down one vertebra at a time, lengthening the spine away from the body. And immediately exhale, lift the navel, lift the rib cage, push gently into the hands as the top of the arm bone rotates open and the shoulder blades sink down into the side of the body. Lengthening the spine long, inhale to the front of the chest as you come down one vertebra at a time. One last time. Exhale, lift the navel, lift the rib cage, and lengthen the spine off of that mat, feeling the arm bones rotate open towards the back of the body and pressing gently into the hands. Inhale to the front of the chest, and exhale, lay the vertebra down one at a time. Lengthen the spine as you do so. Immediately push yourself back into an all fours position. When you're in all fours with the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips, we're gonna loosen the low back with a little bit of cat-cow. If you felt any of that in the low back, you were lifting off of the mat a little too high without connecting deep enough through the torso, through the core. Inhale into the back and the sides of the ribcage, prepare. Exhale, lift the navel, tuck the tail, and bring the back of the ribcage up towards the ceiling while the head hangs actively, which means you're reaching out of the center of the neck, lengthening the spine. Inhale, lift the head, lower the heart, sending it between the picture frame of the arms, and reach your sit bones out towards the wall behind you. Exhale, lift the navel, tuck the tail, and send the base of the ribcage towards the ceiling. The head hangs actively, reaching long. 
and inhale, lift the head, sink the heart down between the arms and reach the sit bones out behind you. And one more time, exhale, lift the navel, tucking the tail, lifting the rib cage, the head hangs actively, rounding the low back as much as possible. And inhale, lift the head, lower the heart, lengthening it between the picture frame of the arms and sending your sit bones out behind you. From here, bring your heels towards each other and your knees wide towards the side of the room. Bring your booty down towards your heels and lengthen your arms out in front of you for child's pose. The forehead should go to the mat if possible. Inhale into the back of the body and exhale to lift the navel. Inhale into the back of the body and exhale to lift the navel. And inhale into the back of the body and exhale to lift the navel. Keep lifting the navels. You tuck the tail underneath you and curl up to a seated position. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is day four. Tomorrow's day five, which means you're almost halfway there. I hope you're having a really, really great day, and I will see you tomorrow.